really fun week. My sister-in-law contacted me because she had broken her favorite class and is wondering if I could do laser engraving. So I just got a new X-Tool 20 watt blue laser and I thought I'd give it a try and see what I could do. Of course, once I make one thing, I can't stop and I have to try a bunch of other things. So let me show you the process I went through. The first thing I did was start with the artwork. So I had photos of Arlo and Archie and Scout. I created pseudo line drawings of each of them. I did this with the uh, BeFunky.com website. You can load your images in and there's paintbrush tools and other kinds of filters. I used the uh, graphics novel DLX one to convert it. I stopped down to the local Ocean State job lots and picked up these uh, tumblers. Uh, the big one was only $1.50. Uh, using a cobbler on the large glass, the, the top side of it's about 74 and a half millimeters and the bottom is a little bit less. About 72 and, and three quarters. I'm using the Lightburn software. It's got a little bit more control than the free software that comes with the X-Tool. In this one, you, uh, we're going to have to go into laser tools and set up the rotary. And so you have to enable it. And I have the particular model. I have rollers that I'm going to use. And then you have to set the object diameter that you got from the calipers. I then copy this circumference value. And I create a box over here. And you can see I put the height in and I measured the width on the glass that's a printable surface. So this outline here represents where on the glass you can print. To find out the best laser settings, you can go under laser tool and pick the material test generator. In this case, I've just set it from five to 50 millimeters per second and from 10 to 100 power. And you can kind of preview the pattern that it's gonna generate. Did a test on plate glass using the black marking uh, spray and it seems like the best for me is about uh, 50 millimeters per second at 60 percent power. I've loaded my image of Scout in and I've rotated it and then I've put in some text with her name and you can see I've got the uh, on the name I've got it set to fill. I'm doing 50 millimeters per second at 60 percent power and then the image over here, I'm doing it the same at 50 millimeters per second and 60% power. I just use alcohol to clean the fingerprints off the glass, make sure it's clean. You also want to make sure you get any sticker residue off. I'm going to coat this glass with marker spray, but since I don't want it to rub off on the rollers here, I just put rubber bands at the end just to put a slight offset. Then I'll spray this. Because the glass is clear and the blue laser go right through it, I'm using this Ceramark uh, black laser marking spray. You have to make sure you really shake it well before you use it, otherwise you'll clog up the spray nozzle. I've got the fan on because of the fumes, but you want to put extremely light coat of this on. I've done some tests by doing one, two, and three light coats. It's pretty interesting. With one coat, it pretty much just engraves the glass. With two or more coats, it actually turns the glass black. I've rested the glass in the roller and I have the open end this way. You can set the height adjuster to the top of the glass. And I've used the crosshair to set the laser so it's right at the top of the glass, the highest point. I've got the glass loaded with the rubber bands around it so it doesn't scratch the coating. I've got the air assist on here to keep the lens clean. And I've got my exhaust fan going. And it's time to start. Looks like it's doing the text first. So the job is done so you can push the laser out of the way. And you can see. Now 
I just have to go wash off the outside stuff. Okay, I've got the glass and I just take the rubber bands off. And this is water soluble, it just washes off. Just slightly rub it. Fortunately, her eyes are a little bit hard to see. I put some milk in it so you can sort of see it better. I'm going to redo it and lighten up the area around her eyes, and I'm also going to do one of her brother. These should make nice glasses for my son-in-law's birthday. I bought a case of tumblers. They're 20 ounce stainless steel. They're pretty nice. And I did a test on them. I did a uh, speed versus power test and found the nice setting that does a good etching. I've got my X2 20 watt blue laser and I've got it set up with the rotation stage here. I'm going to be doing these tumblers and there's a support back here to hold the end of the, the tumbler so it fits on. And I've leveled this by adjusting the height here of the end of the tumbler so this is relatively flat. And then I put these foam blocks here because I found that the tumbler tended to want to migrate down the rollers when it was engraving, so I just put these foam blocks here for now just to keep it from moving. I have the laser centered on the high spot here of the of the mug, and then I'm going to just center it on the black section. Normally I would keep this closed, but I'm going to leave it open so I can film it. I'm going to do a frame which just checks that everything is where I think it should be. The mug is done, so you can just slide the laser out of the way, pull the cup up. And it looks kind of dark right now, but I'll show you this washes off and it will look really pretty. You can see how dark it is right now, but as soon as I wash it, it comes out really nice. Well, this was fun. I learned how to etch glass, how to etch stainless steel tumblers, and how to etch painted stainless steel tumblers. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.